Okay, these definitely run big because I have a whole pant on underneath this. I don't know what I'm more shocked about in this box. The fact that it's January and I'm already buying a swimsuit or that the color is so off from what the website is. Hello friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a Walmart new rivals unboxing video. I love doing these. I love going through and seeing what's new at Walmart. So all of these items are gonna be listed below in the description box if you wanna check any of them out. But I have some outerwear, some fun transition pieces as we hopefully will move into some warmer weather. I think I might even have my first swimsuit of the season in these boxes. So let's get into it. Oh, and my cup that I have here is also from Walmart. It's an iridescent style, it's fluted. It also has this kind of upside down arches, which iridescent and arches are two trends that I did talk about in my recent Walmart favorites video. If you guys missed that one, it was a good one. So I will also have that linked below and let's see what's in our first box. All right, so up first, I see a pair of blue jeans in here. At least I think they're jeans. I'm very excited to see denim, but I think this is actually a denim shirt instead of jeans. I do have some jeans, hopefully, in some of these boxes. But I think this is the denim jacket from Sofia Vergara. It definitely has a shirt weight than a jacket weight, so I take the jacket comment back. I picked this up in a size small. You do have these buttons in the front. I think this is gonna be a great lightweight layer as we transition. You can throw this on with a tank top and shorts, put it on with a little sundress. And this does look like it's gonna be a longer style. Also between the yoke in the back and the stitching in the front, this is definitely giving me a Western feel. Okay, so in here, also from Sophia, we're starting out with a lot of Sophia, is this really pretty PJ set. I am on a huge PJ kick. So one of my New Year's resolutions for this year was to really prioritize my sleep. Anytime I get busy, it's the first thing that falls off for me. Y'all let me know if you're the same way. So one of the ways that I am bribing myself to go ahead and to get into bed and get some shut eye is with some matching PJ sets. This one from Sophia is a two piece set. So you're getting this wide leg pant. I'm not sure if it's gonna be cropped or not, but I will put footage on the screen of me in it. But it has this really pretty floral print. It's kind of a orange red with a light pink flower. It has a silky feel to it. And then it does have a matching little short sleeve button down top. This is also available in a short and cami version as well as a robe if you're interested. But I think this is so pretty for spring and PJs can get quite expensive. So I think this is a great deal. You're getting both pieces for $23. Ooh, which that PJ set also comes in an animal print. It is giving mob wife trend vibes. Y'all have to let me know if y'all are seeing that pop up on social media. I think that's fun. Get out your animal prints, get out your faux furs. And I have high hopes for this next item. It's from Scoop. They just launched all of their spring pieces and this is a sheer, more lightweight cardigan in this very pretty light lavender color. This is gonna be a color you're gonna see a lot this year. It does have matching buttons and this ruching detail down the front. It is gonna be a crop style. I think this is gonna be very pretty on. I could see myself starting to wear it now since it is a long sleeve style, but you could also wear this at Easter for any spring events you have. You could pair this with blue jeans, throw it on with a skirt, trousers. This is a top that I think you can get a lot of use out of. And to go underneath the sheer cardigan, I did pick up this matching little sweater cami. And I also picked up the same sweater tank in black because I think it's just a good basic that I can wear under a lot of different styles. And the sweater tanks are $16. And if there's anything obvious about sizing, I will flash that up on the screen and it will also be down in the description box. And this next item I was so excited to get in. It's this cardigan from Free Assembly. It does have more of the styling of a very classic jacket, but think a cardigan weight. It has beautiful detail from the little scalloped edge up here. And then it also has these large gold buttons and the color, yes, millennial pink, baby pink is back. And I love this color. I think you can wear it like a neutral. And in one of these boxes, I do have the matching tank top to this if you wanna make a monochromatic look, but I would equally like this with creams, whites, put it on with faded denim. It is really pretty. And I cannot believe this is $26. That is a good price. This is definitely giving me Chanel at Walmart, it's available in five colors. 
Okay, so in here, we're sticking with our PJ trend. These are the boxer sleep shorts from Joy Spun. These are $8. They come in a lot of different pattern and color options. The one that I have here is the Key Lime Pie Stripe. Say that three times fast, which I think is an adorable name. It does have pockets and elastic waist, and this is a rayon cotton blend, so it's lightweight. It has a nice feel to it. I'm probably gonna wear this now just around my house with a sweatshirt, but then as it warms up, I'll throw this on with a tank top, and yes, this does have pockets. Ooh, I see blue jeans. Okay, let's get into some of these t-shirts. So this is actually a layering tee from Scoop. It's a long sleeve style. My first impression is this is really, really soft. I also quite liked the colors that this came in. I picked up the baby pink as well as their gray color. I wanna say it also comes in kind of a citron green, but it is a lightweight style. You have this ruching detail on the side. I also like how it's sewn in where it looks like the tee is layered. And then on the sleeve, you have kind of this sewn in cuff. It's a very, very pretty color. These are $16 and I did order them not really with much in mind. I just think that they are gonna be a good basic to have in your closet. And this is a really pretty gray. It's kind of a taupey mushroom gray. I think this is a color that's gonna match a lot. And if you've watched very many of my videos, you know I love Scoop jeans. They're my favorite Walmart jeans. And so far they've only released one new style. I bought it in two different sizes because I wanted to make sure that one of them would work before they sold out. So I picked it up in a two and a four. I'll put on the screen what they both look like on. Typically I'm a size four, but Scoop can run a little bit big. So that's why I'm being extra cautious. But this is a light wash style. It does have all of these fun utility pockets functional cargo pockets. These are a really cool pair of jeans. They also have a front seam and they do look like they're gonna be a wider leg style all the way down through the leg. And they also have elastic in the back. I am very interested to see what this looks like on because online they're calling this a mid-rise cargo jean. On the label, they are calling this a low slung cargo jeans. All right, and I'll throw on the fours real quick because these do look big. <laughs> okay, these definitely run big because I have a whole pant on underneath this and they still have a relaxed fit to them. They are so cute. I might change my mind after I tried them both on with no sweatpants, but my first impressions is to size down in these. I love these jeans. Also, they have kind of more of a, I thought they were light wash, but it is more of a vintage wash when you see them. I do want y'all to be mindful though, that this is a real cargo pocket that is gonna add bulk. So just know that whenever you order them, but these are so fun. These are $28, scoop denim never lasts long so if y'all are interested you got to grab these and another pair of cargo jeans i think the pockets were a little lower on this if i remember correctly yes okay so the pocket is a lot further down on these they also have this fun zipper pocket on the side and this is from madden nyc which is a juniors brand so it is going to be odd number sizing so i do have this in a size five they are calling this their skater jean these also come in tan and they do look like they're going to be a wide leg all the way down there's no elastic on the waist as opposed to the scoop jeans I just showed. has a, It feels like the denim has a lot of stretch to it. And I am expecting these to be flattering in the back from the yoke detail. It also has a real button pocket. It's very retro in my opinion. We will see what these look like on because they do look like a shorter style to me though. And I can already see what's in this box. These are some new sneakers from No Boundaries that I thought looked very designer in this fun green color. They do come in a few other color options though, if I remember correctly, I wanna say a black. So I picked it up in the green. This is a really good green that we're seeing a lot of right now, especially in our sneakers. I like the contrasting sole on this, the stitch detail in the front. It really looks like a much more expensive pair of Adidas shoes. These are available in whole and half sizes. I got these just in my typical size nine. And if you typically lean into neutral sneakers, I think this is a great way to try out a fashion color for under $20. And this next sweater I think is gonna be so popular. It's from Free Assembly and it's this navy stripe style. I picked this up because one, we are seeing navy, navy and white, navy stripes from a lot of high-end designers. So I think this does have a very expensive look 
It's a classic look. There's a very pretty button detail at the shoulder, and I'm expecting this to kind of skim my waistline, not be super cropped, but not be long either. This is available in a couple of other colors, including that baby pink. And this is one that I'm gonna have a lot of fun styling. I think I could throw this on with a denim maxi skirt. I would love it with a pair of white pants, throw it on shorts. And this has a nice medium weight to it. I think it was around $26. And then we are getting into sandals, y'all, ready or not. I know I have at least one in today's order. I might have another one, but I really liked this pair from Time and True because of the hardware detail. So these are brown sandals from Time and True that do have this really pretty gold circle detail. And the edges of the sandal do kind of have a burnished look to them. These look really expensive. These are also available in a green and black, I believe. I think these are gonna be a good staple sandal to have in your closet. They're under $15. I picked these up just in my typical size. And if y'all are familiar with Time and True, it does have that memory foam that Time and True is known for. Let me put this on real quick and I'll let y'all know if it runs true to size. Yeah, these definitely work. So I would get these in your typical size. All right, let's see what's in a few bags here. Ooh, okay. So this is a satin midi skirt from Scoop. The color, again, Scoop is doing the most with their color. This is such a pretty color. It definitely could go silver as well. It does have an elastic at the waist, and this is a style that you can dress way up if you want to, or you could also throw it on with sneakers. So think like a slip dress, but instead a skirt version. And I think this would look great styled with either of the Scoop long sleeve tees. You could go full monochromatic gray look, or it looks very fresh paired with this baby light pink. In addition to this gray silver color, it's also available in a berry, and I wanna say a watercolor print. And then in here, I do have this top from No Boundaries. I was so happy to see that they brought this back. This is a new color and one of my favorite sweaters from last year. It was also one of the best selling sweaters that we showed last year, so I know you guys equally liked it. This year it is available in some stripe options, which how pretty is this neutral stripe? It's also available in a pink stripe, I believe, as well as just the solid natural, which is how I showed it last year. It has a fun sleeve, this crochet detail, and it is a crop style. You can wear this with a cami underneath. You could throw this on over a swimsuit. This definitely has a groovy feel to it, and I'm not sure if it's coming across, but the stripe here is black, so I think this would look awesome over a black swimsuit. Suit. Let's wear this like a swimsuit cover up, but you can also wear this with just a little tank top underneath. And I love that it's a long sleeve style so I can still have arm coverage, but look seasonally appropriate whenever it's hotter outside. It does have a tie front detail and this is $15. And then in here, I do have my first denim short purchase of the season. It's January, but I do live in Texas. So I know I'm gonna wear these probably earlier than most. It is Sofia Vergara's chai shorty style. I did pick these up in a size four. It does say they have a three and a half inch inseam. And these are a distressed style with frayed ends. I'm not sure if these are available in any other wash yet, but typically they come in at least one other wash. These are around $20 and like all of Sofia's denim, I can tell these are gonna have a very nice stretch to them. All right, after a brief intermission, I have swapped out my water for some coffee, a little afternoon pick me up. You can't tell from this angle, but this clear mug, it comes in a two pack from Amazon, does make your drink have a little heart design. It's very cute. So if you're still shopping for Valentine's Day, I will have these linked below. And yes, in here I have more pink. Free Assembly is actually calling this color ballet pink, although this top is available in five colors. It's this long sleeve sweater that does have a collar, more of that Henley V-neck. It is really soft, a very pretty style. It does have this detail at the cuff, as well as a band on the bottom. This is gonna be perfect whether you wanna do a little half tuck, leave it untucked. And even though this is a sweater, it is very lightweight. I think this would make a great workwear top, but you could also throw it on with a pair of blue jeans. This is a really great top and it's $22. I really like that both Free Assembly and Scoop seem like they've focused on more of those staple pieces, those more wardrobe essentials, like the Scoop sweater tank top that I mentioned earlier. I did also pick this up in cream. I think it came in four colors total. So here's what the cream looks like. I think on camera it's showing up more white than it is. This is a true off-white, a true cream. 
where in contrast, my next top is an optic white. This is a sheer style. It is meant to be sheer on purpose. I couldn't tell from the photography though, if you got the cami underneath it or not. So you do, the camisole is sewn in. This is a long sleeve style. It is really pretty. And Scoob is calling this a pullover sweater. I think this is very lightweight. Think more of the weight of a blouse. And you do have this cutout detail on the sleeve. If you're familiar with Scoop body suits, it's the same type of cutout detail. And then you have kind of this little tulip edge. I think it is a really pretty top. This does have a higher neckline and I think overall this top feels really feminine. I think it's going to look great with blue jeans or you could dress it up with a nicer skirt, pair of pants. This is also available in black, which if you're going for more of a nighttime look, I probably would opt for that color instead. Okay, I feel like these boxes looks like a lot of action, but there is only one item in most of these. In this box, I do have the matching ballet pink tank top that Scoop did have styled with that cardigan that I shared earlier. This is another one that comes in several other color options. The fabric feels great, has that scallop detail. This does look like it's gonna cut in, so I'm interested to see if I can wear a regular bra with this one or if I have to wear a racer back style. And this has a ribbed sweater feel to it. It's $14. And another couple pairs of pants. So this is the tan version, I think, of the denim Madden NYC cargo jeans that I shared. No, this is different. This is different because these do have an elastic at the waist, but they are very similar. So you still have the utility pocket. It has the cargo pocket on the side. It's just higher than the other one that I shared. It does look like it's gonna be a nice wide leg all the way down. Elastic waist, like I mentioned, and this one just has a regular slit back pocket or I believe the other one did have the button pocket. These are $23 and they're also available in denim as well as a camo print. And then also from Madden NYC, they have restocked their awesome trousers. So I did share these last fall. They sold out so quickly. They did come in black and khaki. So I went ahead and ordered a fresh pair so I could make sure they were the exact same style. And just looking at them, they are. It does have the hidden elastic in the back, but you do have belt loops in the front. It's kind of hard to see, but it does have this pleat in the front. It's a wide leg style and these are relaxed all the way throughout the leg. I have these in a size small and I love that they fit me in the waist, but they still have that more relaxed, trendy trouser fit. I'm 5'2 in my last pair. I did have to wear it with a high heel or a pretty big platform sneaker and they still puddled. So I'm expecting these to be the same length, but I will put that up on the screen. These are $19, 100%. These will sell out. I don't know what I'm more shocked about in this box, the fact that it's January and I'm already buying a swimsuit or that the color is so off from what the website is, but I do love it. I might be happier with this color, but this is the bottom to a time and true bikini. So I assume I have the top in one of these boxes, but they are calling this color red online. This is like a neon pink. This is not red. And my tag even says red, but I think this is a really beautiful color. Just first impressions, this is gonna be a high cut up the leg style. It does have this very trendy crossover band. A lot of my airy swimsuits from last year had that style. It is really flattering on. The fabric does have a rib detail to it and it does look like this is more of a full bottom. And they're calling this mid rise. So I'm very interested to see what that looks like on. Hopefully we have the top somewhere in here. And one more pair of jeans, which I'm so excited to see because I feel like it has been slim pickings in the denim department for a while. So these are from Jordache. This is what they are calling their flare high rise jean. It has a medium to light wash. It has very, very subtle distressing at the bottom. It's not an overly whiskered style in the front or in the back. You have slit pockets. Oh, you also have a little slight, slight distressing here at the pocket, but there's no other distressing on the jeans. They have a great feel to them. And I can tell these jeans do have some span in them. They feel like they're gonna have a really great stretch. Like I said, they are a flare style. I picked these up in a size four. I cannot wait to try these on. These jeans were $15, y'all. That was amazing for a pair of jeans. So I hope these work. Online, they were listing a few different inseams. I'm looking on the tags and I'm not seeing that reflected anywhere. I think it does come in just the one inseam. All right, and in here I have the updated Scoop Moto Jacket. Fun fact, the black 
faux leather moto jacket from Scoop is the first Scoop item that I ever bought at Walmart. And so they have come out with beautiful, I mean, beautiful new spring transitional colors. So the color that I have here is what they are calling doe skin. It's this really light brown color. It does have silver hardware. It has a great feel to it. It's pretty buttery as far as a faux leather goes. And the jacket has all of that great moto details. You got fun zippers, little compartments. Scoop always does such a great job with this jacket comes in a lot of different color options that just look fresh for the upcoming season. I have a few trips coming up and if it's cold, 100%, I'm gonna be wearing this. And I should have one more coat in here. So hopefully it is in one of these boxes. Okay, yes, it is in this box. It's also from Scoop and it is a faux leather long trench coat. I really had a hard time deciding between this more cream color and the black because I think they're both very versatile buys, but this, this just looks so fresh. I mean, that is a beautiful color. Y'all, I'm putting this on right now. I love it. Oh, okay, so for the fit, I did wanna throw this on. I'm wearing this in a small, it fits great. I can tell it's a little bit oversized because I do have sweats on underneath, but that is definitely what's on trend. It's not so oversized that I would feel the need to size one down. There's no buttons on this at all, so you're either gonna wear it open, like how I have it here, or you're gonna wear it belted, which I would do right now, but that would cover my microphone. It does have pockets, and this is a midi length, so it's about mid calf on me. It's so beautiful. I think I'm gonna have to pick up the black one as well. It's just a classic style that you can have in your closet indefinitely. I also like that you can wear this a lot of seasons out of the year. You can wear this right now as we transition into spring. Get this back out though in the fall and the winter. Scoop did so well on this. Okay, and I just got this package in this morning, which I can tell they're a pair of heels on the side, which these are from the Journey brand at Walmart. So I was really looking for a good universal pair of heels I could kind of throw on with anything in a tan color and a black color. So I hope these are it, although they do come in a lot of different color options, including a baby blue. That would be so pretty for spring. Wow, that is going to be a really pretty shoe on the foot. So it does have this strappy design here in the front, but it's thicker straps, kind of goes a little bit tubular. It's an open back style. It does have more of a squared off toe. And I love the heels on these. They are hitting more of that sculptural heel trend. And this is a high heel. They're saying this is four inches and a quarter. So not for the faint of heart, but I'm five too. So I definitely like a little bit of height. Let's see what the taupe color looks like. Ah, so good. This is gonna be, just a great wear with anything shoe. That's a beautiful color. Let's, I'll throw one on and see if they're true to size. Cause I think these do come in whole as well as half sizes. So I think these fit perfectly. They are a tall shoe. Although I feel like they're not uncomfortable. Although do not quote me on that you guys, because heel comfort is very subjective, but these are not bad. It does say that it has true comfort foam insole. I might feel differently after I wear them around for hours. All right, and I only have two more boxes left, so let's go ahead and make today's secret emoji be the high heel emoji. Leave that for me below in the comment section so I know you've stuck it out with me this long. Okay, I have a small box and a big box left. So let's do the big box last. Let's see what's in here. Yes, okay, so this is a pair of shoes. These are from Time and True. They are that kind of Birkenstock looking sandals, which if you've ever priced Birkenstocks, you know they are hundreds of dollars, but I love that their latest drop of these come in denim. And in general, we're seeing a, such an uptick, especially in denim accessories, from handbags to shoes. And we actually recently did a whole denim roundup that I will link below. But if you're familiar with Time and True's other sandals like this, they're gonna fit the same. So it is more of that clunky kind of sandal, very on trend right now. They're under $20. This is a brand new link that just dropped. So all of the sizes haven't dropped yet. I am assuming that this is gonna come in whole sizes only. My size nine was available on the website, but if you don't see your size, just keep stocking the link. Cause like I said, that is brand new. And now we are to our last box. And y'all, I really hope my swimsuit tops in here or else it's gonna be a really awkward try out with just the bottoms. So yes, here's the neon pink top that Walmart's calling red and a new bag. 
Oh, it's so pretty. The back looks like it's gonna be very pretty, whether it's a crisscross or a deep V, I can't really tell but it is adjustable. It also has these little medallions on the end. The pad on the swimsuit top is actually sewn in. I really like that. I hope that helps not have a pad swimming all around. If you know, you know. And I did pick this up in a small, I'm a 34D, so I will put on the screen how I feel like the sizing goes, but I think that's going to be a very pretty two-piece swimsuit. And last up is a new color of one of my favorite Walmart tote bags. It's actually my current work bag that I'm carrying in the cream and pink color, but they just dropped this orange and red, which we are seeing red everywhere, but also now that I'm looking at it, the print does have a little bit of peach in it, which peach fuzz is Pantone's color of the year. So I just feel like I'm hitting all the trendy colors on this bag. I think this is gonna look great paired with any neutral. I think I'm gonna really like this with navy too. So if you buy this online, you do get the two extra pouches that come with the bag. I think if you buy this in store, it is a separate purchase, but you are getting this clear pouch that says safekeeping, and then you are getting another zipper pouch that has a wallet. You have another little slot here, and then it has another pouch that says ring ring. I do have the largest iPhone and it does fit. It does have a zipper to keep everything in and then the inside is just one large compartment. You have one slip pocket and some more credit card slots. Another reason why I wanted to try this color is the designer version that is 2000 plus dollars does also come in red. And this one is a little bit more muted of a red. It's more of a berry red. The photography makes it look like it's going to be this bright Christmas red, but I'm already very pleased with it. And that does wrap up today's Walmart unboxing. Please let me know below in the comments which item was your favorite. I feel like this was such a good haul and I can't wait to see what else Walmart comes out with. It seems like they are dropping new styles every week. It's always really fun whenever we change seasons in retail. So if you love Walmart, be sure to hit the subscribe button. And if you're interested in any of these items, they'll be listed below in the description box as well as over on the pinned comment. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today and I will see y'all in the next one.